Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ron Wilkerson. Hey, I found something interesting that I thought I wanted to share with you guys. If you're using Infinity Color or any of the other editing panels, but especially Affinity Color, I found something really unique that you can do in Photoshop. Now, take and consider this does have, uh, it's gonna concern you that the speed of your computer is gonna have a huge factor in if this is gonna work efficiently for you. But I believe it will work for most um, Photoshop users. What a lot of people don't know is that you can edit video inside of Photoshop. I know usually, you know, when I'm, if I'm editing video personally, I'm going to use Final Cut or I'm going to use, you know, something like that Premiere, just depending on what kind of project I'm working on. Um, I'm starting to learn a lot about DaVinci Resolve, but, you know, that's not what this video is about. So let's take a look at this. Here's a video clip that I downloaded, and it's just a video clip of a model in studio, looks like a fan on, you know, cute, okay. But it's very, very basic. Now, the photographer um, who captured this, I want to give him credit. Uh, if you guys have not visited his uh, website, you can find his videos and his photos on uh, Pixels. You can also find him on Instagram. Wi-Fi is running a little slow today. But he has some really good images um, on his Instagram page. So, you know, give the guy a, you know, a shout out or something like that. Okay, on with the rest of the video. Here's our video clip, as I said before. It's only about 15 seconds. So what I'm going to do with this video clip is I'm going to just drag it over to Photoshop. All right, so here's our video in Photoshop. So if we play it, it plays it back just the same. Now, let's say you have a little short, you know, 15 second video clip or a 30 second video clip you wanna put on Instagram or some social media site, but you also wanna do um, a little bit of color grading. You're familiar with Photoshop, but Maybe you're not so confident with, you know, Final Cut or, you know, whatever other uh, video editing software is out there. Here's something cool that I discovered. So as you know, I've been playing with a number of these different uh, editing panels um, uh, for portraits and things like that. But here's Infinity Color. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know, you can go through and you can harmonize, you can um, set the uh, levels from light, medium, intense. So we're just going to do a medium, and we're just going to do create. Just going to hit this one big button right here, create, and see what it comes up with. Okay, so that's the first version. Let's hit it again. There it is again. One more time. So this works just like it would if I was editing a photo. So let's say I like the color tone here. I could always go in and I could lower the opacity. I could raise the opacity. I could lower it back. I could, as an example, I could go in and adjust the gradient map or even the lookup table, the LUT that it's using. I could just randomize that again a couple times. That's a little flat. Let's say we like that. Now, look at this. This is without affinity color, and that's with it. And then all of your other tools still work the same here. You know, so if you wanted to do, if you wanted to add, um, for instance, um, curves, you can still go in here and adjust your curves. Let me say, okay, I like that. I'm going to group all these together, which is going to be Shift, and then on a Mac, Command-G. Oops, didn't want that to be in the group. Okay, so as you scroll through here, you can see. Beautiful. Now, this is not going to replace Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, anything like that. But let's just say you want to do something really simple. Um, I haven't tried this, so we'll see if this will work. 
I don't know if it's going to work, but we're just going to try it. I'm just adding the text layer and I'm going to change the color of the text. Select it just like I normally would. So if you see the text now is applied down here. So I'm going to move it closer to the beginning. And we're just going to play that back really quick. You know, there's no transition or anything like that, but if this is something that you're just trying to put out, say for Instagram or Facebook, and there are, you can apply transitions to uh, different layers. So I think, yeah, so if we're gonna do a uh, crossfade, we could do a crossfade on that. Did that work? Yeah. Anyway, but you can play with it. The main objective to this video is to show you how um, you can utilize this panel for a number of different things other than just um, for randomizing, you know, effects and looks for your photos. You can actually use it, you know, for video clips. Now, I'm targeting, you know, something for social media, which would be 30 seconds, you know, you know or something like that. I'm sure you could edit a longer video in Photoshop, you know, with multiple files and things like that, and then you could apply this same um, effect to all of them, if that's something you wanted to do. But I just wanted to share this with you guys, because if you are playing with Photoshop or using Photoshop on a daily basis, and you know, social media is so important to us right now, you know, for marketing, Here's a, one more tool that you can add to the toolbox that can help you get your content out there. All right, guys, it's been Ron Wilkerson. I will catch you guys in the next video. You know what you need to do. You know, hit that bell, all those other things that everyone asks you to do at the end of their videos. Do it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace. I'm out.